The campaign dubbed Miss Kavi Uganda has attracted a fierce debate on social media and mainstream media, with many questioning the actual motive behind the campaign. Actually, thanking God. We actually, this is the way of praising God. Thank you, Lord, for having endowed this country. You've given us, actually, this is one way of worshipping. Worshipping the Almighty God. That actually you've, you've endowed this country. Other countries are actually lacking, but you've endowed our country. We are so beautiful. You've created that. You've not just given us a beautiful country, you've also given us beautiful people. Full minister can look at women as a tourist attraction. And to us as women, we feel insulted. To us as women, we feel this should not go unchallenged. And we would call upon our dear brother, the Honorable Minister of Tourism, to apologize to the women of this country, to apologize to the women of the world. We are not, for heaven's sake, an object for tourists to come and see. We are not an object for pleasure. Why doesn't he say they should come and see the wealth of men that we have in Uganda? Tour? Critics argue that the campaign seems to objectify Ugandan women, yet the country has a lot of wealth for tourism that they can tap from other than women. It's uncultured, it's uncouth that in this century, a man, and moreover Salongo, can even think of using women as a tourist attraction. We have asked, will he put them in a cage? Will he put them in a hall? Or oh, he's going to display them strategically in national parks? A section of Ugandans hold similar fear that by promoting women's bodies, Uganda will most likely pull unwanted types of tourists, such as sex tourists. We need to look at the beauty of women differently, beauty with dignity, beauty with their purpose. And I condemn this as degrading dehumanizing and uh, devaluing to the dignity of women in Uganda and elsewhere in the world. And Some of the women are bitter with the campaign and the tourism state minister Godfrey Chiwanda and their argument is that the ministry should have looked at women as partners of development, not as objects. Denis Igoa and Zahara Bigaba for UBC News.